What's going on, Pokemon trainers? I'm Trainer Connor, and you're watching a Pokemon Showdown Beta Wi-Fi battle video today. I swear to you, this channel is not dead, okay? I'm a busy person now. Y'all should know this by now. But, uh, if you haven't seen the last video, that was against my rival Ruins. It was a really fun match. I recommend you watch it if you haven't seen it. And also, be sure to check out his YouTube channel, because he's got a big channel growing over there, and he's a part of the Noise Room podcast, and I'm on there pretty frequently. But, yeah, that's what's been going on. I've been busy, and we are in October, finally, so we have a few more months before 2020 wraps up. So today, we have a Ubers battle that I have uh, Gen 8. I'm gonna go over the team builder if I can actually get there, because I had trouble in the past. So we're here. I wanna go over the team real quickly, but if you don't wanna hear me out, you can always skip to the battle, which I'll put a link in the description or a timestamp on when the battle starts. That's a much better way to put it. So I have a Dracovish choice banded. Uh, the ability Strong Jaw has Fish's Rend, Iron Head, Crunch, and Psychic Fangs. Really good set. Got a lot of coverage. Um, max HP, or no, we're close to max HP, but it's 248, uh, max attack, and then 8 in special defense. We have a Metal Metal, which by the way, if you guys haven't seen the news for Crown Tundra and the whole Metal Metal thing, it's gonna be a really good Pokemon when this set is out. You can get a Gigantamax form of it really soon as well, so I'm looking forward to using him in the foreseeable future. But for now, we are using him in digital form in Pokemon Showdown. So Metal Metal is holding the Assault Vest. I'm gonna try it out and see how that works out. I might have to change an item on it. But for now, it's holding the Assault Vest. The ability Iron Fist, Double Iron Bash, Darkest Lariat, Earthquake and Ice Punch, Max HP, Max Attack, and Fourth Defense. We have a Gmax Cinder Rays. Now I've been training up a few Gymax mods in my Sword and Shield version, uh, or Sword version actually. And I'm looking forward to using him. So he has a Lumberry, uh, Rubero as his ability, and Powerball Dunk Shot. High Jump Kick U Turn is his new set over there. Uh, the standard uh, Max Attack and Max Speed there. We also have a few non-legendary Pokemon as well. Uh, well, okay, because Singer Ace is also on that, or in that category, so. Uh, Mungus has Black Sludge, Regenerator as his ability, Spore, Sun Spore, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb with Max uh, Defense. A lot of HP investment with 40 Special Attack EVs, so that Giga Drain and Sludge Bomb do a little bit of damage to the opposition. We have a Clefable, as well as our Fairy type. He has Leftovers, Magic Guard, Moonblast, Swish, Protect, Flamethrower, with Max HP, Max Special Defense, and Foreign Special Attack. So we're finally getting into the more bulky variants of the Pokemon lineup here. And last but not least, we have Mewtwo on the bottom screen, well, the bottom of the screen there, actually. Uh, Mewtwo is holding Life Orb, Pressure, Side Strike, Aura Sphere, Ice Beam, and Calm Mind. We have Max Special Attack and Max Speed for in Special Defense. So all the extra EVs are apparently going to Special Defense, if I'm not mistaken. So that's my lineup for the battle, and speaking of, we'll go to the battle. So I'll see you guys in just a moment. Alrighty, so we are here for the Pokemon battle video here, or the actual thing. Now if you skip to the actual fight here, I have a Choice Banded Dracovish, a Assault Vest Melvedal, GMAX Cinder Rays, a Defensive Amoongus, also a Defensive Fable, and a Life Orb Mewtwo. Now my opponent has a lot of fire types. He has his Cinderor, Sogolio, Lipard, Lycanroc, Zacian, and Arcanine. So we're gonna go ahead and play without the music, because I have my own music. And let's begin. So I'm going to start out with Dracovish. Well, my opponent begins with his Solgaleo. I believe he misclicks here on the very first turn of the match. That's a little unfortunate because I give off a really powerful Fishes Run. And here he goes for the Psychic Fangs, gets a critical hit, and I'm able to finish off Solgaleo. So the way he makes up for the misclick is getting a critical hit. Now here's a bane of my existence. Uh, I want to preserve my Dracovish. And this Zacian is a little annoying in this fight, 
Not gonna lie, because he gets close with the close combat and knocks out Metal Metal. I'm really unfortunate because I have the Assault Vest instead of like the other item, which I don't think there is an other item. So I go into my g Max Cinder Rays because I am threatened. Go for the g Max Fireball and I actually hit the Arcanine coming in. Does a lot of damage. Now based off the damage that it does, I'm assuming that this is a defensive Arcanine. I don't want to stay in because of the Intimidate. Go back into Dracovish and unfortunately he burns me. So that was a pretty bad turn in my part. If I had just stayed in, that would have been awesome. But at this point, I'm just going to let Dracovich go down here. I am actually surprised that this vicious friend I go for, it almost lost our Arcanine even though I'm burned. So that's the power of a choice band Dracovich for you. And uh, he goes for another Protect. I just go for another vicious friend. He should have just KO'd me from this point. But, you know, because you're not really gaining anything from this Part of the battle. And then he goes for a fire spin and that doesn't knock me out. So in the end we get a double down, which are the best types of downs, if you are not aware. And we haven't had one in a while, so it's really refreshing. On the double down, we see a Lycan Rock Dusk form. I go into Mewtwo expecting that. Because I figure he wanna get up his stealth rocks, because I have a few things that are really annoyed by stealth rocks. Uh, Cinderace says hello on that. He goes for Source Dance and he goes for a Star Rock at plus two that does not knock out Mewtwo. Where it doesn't knock out Mewtwo. I have to say it properly. Now, I am able to go for Side Strike and knock out the uh, Viking Rock there. And then I figured I could out Speed Lization, but as it turns out, I don't. The only answer to this thing is my Cinderace, and nothing does in our speed either. So, as you can see, Zacian is running rapid on my team a little bit here, and there's really nothing I can do about it. That kind of shows you just how annoying and how powerful it is. And on top of that, he has Psychic Fangs. So, at this point, I only have two Pokemon left. My Amoongus and Clefable. Now, he has his Incineroar as well, and then he also has Rykard. So, I go into Clefable, I expected him to switch out into his Zacian, but that doesn't happen. He goes for the parting shot instead, that's a little annoying because he lowers my special attack investment there. Goes for knockoff, and he's going to go for the Thunder Wave as well. We come out real short on the kill. I just kill this thing, although it really wouldn't matter because you could just go into Zacian and use Behemoth Blade and knock me out. But the fact that you paralyzed me, that's a little, a little more unfortunate, if you can ask uh, me on that. Like, if you give me my input, that's what's gonna happen there, you know? It's really annoying. So, uh, the match is almost over at this point because he has a G-Max or Dynamax in Center And that is good game because I'm super weak to it. Man, that was a tough fight. And uh, thanks to my opponent, that was a good battle. He, he actually did give me a good battle. I already thought that I could play Dracovish a little bit better, and I, if I didn't overpredict with my Clefable, I might have done something a little bit better. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick battle. I know it was quick, but I wanted to post something because I haven't posted anything in a while. If you guys enjoyed this battle, make sure you give me a like and subscribe. See you all next time, Pokemon Shiners.